Hello and welcome back. Today our subject is again one of these interesting notes which we are used to. But is this the right note? We are all used to this progression and I start in bar 13. That's what we are used to. But there are other options. Or Well, what did the surviving manuscripts and the first prints tell us about this note? The oldest manuscript by Kellner sounds like this. The two early manuscripts didn't write the appoggiatura like but they likely played it. The difference to our common version is that the F is kept for the whole bar 13. This would emphasize the change of character in bar 14 where the F sharp appears. And now to Anna Magdalena. She does not try the natural at all and it would sound like that. It doesn't sound quite right. Could it happen that copiers assume that the player would choose anyway the right note or she did a mistake? We would think the assumption we don't do that today. But I have a look at one of the latest edition Bärenreiter 2017, the Allemande. Here it is. We are in G major with F sharp, but in bar 18 is an F natural. Then we have the first beat of the next bar, a trill on E. We are in G major and the trill would be with F sharp. I have never heard it with F sharp. It would sound like this. It sounds a bit wrong. The editors today rely still on the good taste of the reader. This was certainly fine in 1726, where all readers shared the same Baroque and even German taste. <clears throat> I am not sure today where we have been exposed to 20th century music, so we shouldn't expect that everybody knows, where F sharp would be fine, and cultures also which don't share the same sense of Middle European scales. Like as a person with a German childhood, it annoyed me that in the Suzuki books virtually all German children's songs had mistakes in it, didn't sound right, because I've heard it a hundred times as a child. But if you haven't heard it, there would be many other acceptable possibilities. Going on, manuscript C and D write in bar 13 and F sharp, followed by G sharp, and it sounds like that. to Dotzauer. He, and he prints this version. The Dotzauer version is surely meant to be with F natural for the whole bar 13, without question, because he reminds in the next bar to play F sharp again. He anyway wouldn't need to write that because there's no F natural in this bar. It's just a reminder because the last F was an F natural and not F sharp, which refers to bar 13 at both times F natural. And last to Dörfel, Bachgesellschaft, Bach Society, which I played at the very beginning. 
He is the first to print exactly what everyone plays today. And that's in 1879, like not an early print. He omits the Opportiatura, as a straight classic did, only today we come back to it. He writes in to play F sharp in bar 13, and then comes F sharp. And he's the first one to remind in bar 14 not to play G sharp in the upper, upper octave. Before G sharp, and he reminds us don't play it here. I play G natural. Well, that leaves some questions open. Did all the writers and printers before assume that in the upper octave is again played G sharp or is again played G natural? I find even in the Norblin manuscript C and D version, which have G sharp in the bar before, it still sounds a bit strange. It would sound like It would sound a bit weird. Looking at Anna Magdalena's key signature, you will notice that the F-sharp is indicated for both octaves. The low one, a bit casual. Looking at prints today, they often indicate the sharp again when it appears in another octave, a C and the Allemand by Bärenreiter from 2017. So it looks like we can assume in all cases before Dörfel that G natural would have been played. What puzzles me is that no version at all shows to play in bar 13 F and G sharp or F sharp and G. It's either both sharp or none. So it looks like that our version today is not faithful to any manuscript or early print. It is a lukewarm mixture starting with Dörfel in 1879. I assume that Anna Magdalena forgot the natural for the F. So we have two versions. Kellner, who is very hard to read, and the Dotsau version with both F natural throughout bar 13. Because still Dotsau had it and Kellner was the earliest, I don't see any reason to doubt this version. The second F doesn't sound strictly classical, but it is not classical. It is Baroque. Some of Bach's favorite composers, like Domenico Scarlatti and Vivaldi, adored clashes and this sensation of dissolving. The F-sharp in the following bar gains a much more expressive color, announcing the final section ending in major. I don't think we have an option than to accept this version. I find it sounds maybe less classical, but more typical Bach. Now play bar 13 to the end. Thanks for listening and goodbye for now.